going to test this SMC uh, Takamar 55 millimeter. It's a f2 lens. Uh, most everybody knows that the f1.8 is radioactive, so I'm going to check the f2 version and see if we get anything out of it. Shine a little black light on it, see if we get any reflections. A little bit of glow, especially that back lens. You can see it's got a little bit more reflective shine to it. It usually gives you an idea that there may be thorium in the lens. First, I'm going to test it. Uh, this Geiger counter room started off around 75 to 80 starting to get a little bit off the front element not terribly strong flip it around to the back side oh, there we go counts per minute jumping up pretty high let's stabilize a little bit Getting a pretty solid 16,000 on this lens. Going to sort of bounce around back and forth, but you're somewhere around 16,000 on average with it. I'm going to also test it um, with this Radicon. It's a uh, new 103 version, so it's a little more accurate than the older two models, uh, but not a lot of difference between that and the older ones. The front element showing a little bit. Flipper over here, get a notification already. Um, yeah, this is reading almost 20,000. So you get with this, it basically just picks up the gamma rays and gives you the equivalent counts per minute to a Geiger counter would. Um, but it's good to test with two different instruments to get an idea of how accurate that reading is. So once it levels off, depending on how close you get it to it, probably really looking at around 19 to 20,000 counts per minute, uh, jumping up as high as 21 with it. This all comes down to how you hold it. So yeah, the Takamar 55mm F2 is definitely radioactive element in it. It's probably only the back element that's radioactive. Uh, most of these I've found, there's not too many of the elements in the center. It almost always is just the back element or just the front. Some other lenses, they have uh, elements in the middle that tend to have something like thorium in the inside of it. but uh, the Takamars mostly have it either on the front element or majority of the time the rear element. So yeah, this is definitely a radioactive lens. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more uh, tests on lenses, just subscribe to follow and uh, like if you like the video. Thanks a lot.